Pinat Media, Marty Blackborough. Go check him out, yeah. Listen. Growing up, I had a dream, something no, no one, one else could, could see. see. Tell me what it means when your faith has fallen beneath your knees. The people need someone like me to show them photography in public is not a crime, you'll see. Marty, go grab the camera, the audit is live and ready They got mad, though it's legal, abusing power, the petty The donut must be forgetting, the founder of Pinup Media You're leaving them sweating, going live on YouTube You can see them regretting, this ain't a joke, I ain't playing around Section 43 ain't working if I see you about I'm the legal representation all over my nation So be ready to see me piggy, I will blow your house down So guys, check it out Oh man, even my legs are a bit jellyfied. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel if it's your first time around here. So this video is just a load of bits and bats from my trip away at Blackpool. We had a really good laugh, had some mad fun. Uh, we've got the trip up the Blackpool Tower. Obviously you've already seen that I did the reverse bungee jump. Um, yeah, a few little fun things and some brilliant photography. Ooh, sorry guys, very uh, rude of me. Um, please let me know what you think of my photography skills. I've been learning to use my camera better using the ISO filters and all that stuff. So let me know what you think of my pictures, guys. Respect. Get this, guys, yeah, of all the places that my hotel could have been council offices. Look, these are your uh, parking wardens, your litter police, all that sort of stuff. Proper look like coppers up here, don't this is Blackpool. Proper look like coppers. Oh look, he's cleaning. Getting rid of all the, his uh, employees' COVID. Look, let me get rid of all COVID before I drive this. <coughs> oh, that's right, old ball patch that, mate. Oof. See, this is the sort of mad auditing, isn't it? This is like, um, this, this is your covert surveillance, should I say, rather. Oh, look at that. Oh, I bet I could get that key code if I watched it for long enough. I reckon if I sit here for long enough, I should better work out what the key code is. Oh, what do you reckon, guys? I reckon it's quite possible. Check this guy out. He's reading the sign. He's like, what the fuck does this say? I don't understand. Pay, pay what? Pay, pay by phone? Pay, pay by cash card? What? What? How long does it take me to read? Still scratching head. How the fuck does this work? <laughs> I feel like I'm doing like an Aussie Man review. If anyone knows what that is, brilliant channel, check it out. It's called Aussie Man Reviews. Makes you laugh like bonkers. Has it worked? It? Oh, look, now it's, I need to get some money in it now. Oh, shit. Not a draft. My gosh. <laughs> I'm actually getting bored. I actually can't stand here and film him. So guys, we're just entering the Blackpool Tower. Um, <laughs> got to wear face coverings, as you do. Um, we're just, I'm thinking we're going towards the elevator, but... I'll check in with you shortly. We hope you all enjoy the 4 cinema. We now are ascending to the top of the Blackpool Tower, a height of 380 oh feet, God. and just 69 oh seconds God. passing through 2,593 tons of metal. When we reach the top of the tower, we'll exit out the doors behind our cabin crew, facing the world famous glass skywalk. Each pane of glass is trim laminated and can hold the weight of 5 tons. When you're at the top of the tower, please follow the one-way system to the left and maintain your social distance. The one-way system will lead you around the first level and to the spiral staircase where you can visit our upper two levels. All levels have a strict no-smoking policy and that includes e-cigarettes. When you're ready to come down, please follow the one-way system to the town side of the tower and we'll be there to meet you. If you have any questions, you can find one of our cabin crew team at the top of the tower. We hope you have a wonderful time here at the Blackpool Tower Eye. Check this out guys, this is awesome. So we're on the we're on the top of Blackpool Tower. 
Is there? Yeah, oh well, we're, we're nearly, we're nearly up. Look at the view, man. Look at this. Look at black pool from the sky. We'll, we'll, we'll go and look at the glass. This is this is actually really kind of cool. It's really high up, unbelievably high up. We've got what I'm assuming is the football stadium over there. Not bad. We've got the famous Winter Gardens just there. And then we've got, well, we've got the whole of Blackpool. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Tell you, the views are absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. We've got the Isle of Man over there. The beach is so big, I didn't realise how big it actually was, to be fair. It's bonkers. We've got, um, that's North Pier. North Pier. Got all these funky stuff down here. So guys, check it out. Oh man, even my legs are a bit jellyfied. Check that out, guys. Whoa, that is absolutely insane. What do you think of that, love? Sorry, man. Look at that, Ricky. Tell you guys, this is one of the most in, one of the more interesting things that I've done in Blackpool for sure. Just wow, just look at it. It is just insane. Absolutely awesome that is though guys. Absolutely brilliant. You can see for just miles and miles and miles. There's a little ship on the horizon there actually. I wonder if I can zoom in for you. I can just see the little ship. Can you see it there in the middle? Looks like a tanker type of thing. We've got oil, we've got an oil rig over there. And then we've got the wind farms over there as well. Now we're going up the curly whirly stairs guys, up the curly whirly stairs. Oh we're off outside. Oh yes, oh yes, this is what we've been waiting for. Ha ha ha! Wow! I like that. I'm liking that. That is awesome. This, I wish that netting wasn't in the way because it's, it's, it's affecting my picture. Oh, guys! 390 feet high. We're currently 390 feet high. Wow! This is awesome. That netting is affecting my picture, guys. But this is this is brilliant. Yes. <laughs> We've got other levels as well, guys. We've got more levels yet. Inch that's pulling the lift. Beware! Moving machinery beyond this point. Never. We've got more spiral staircases, guys, and more stairs. Boom. We're currently at 401 feet high. The maximum height we can reach. The maximum height is it? Yeah, look. We've got to that point, we're getting top really now. This is awesome. Yes, guys. This is actually quite chilly. It's probably quite windy. Man, it's a new height. <laughs> uh, that was cheesy. That was cheesy. <laughs> that was that, guys. Now we're on his way back down. Did you manage to step onto the glass skywalk? We are now heading back to level six where you'll exit out into a retail store. Just like the top of the tower, please follow the one-way system and maintain your social distance. If you have an annual pass, remember to show it at checkout for your 20% discount. 
please refrain from touching any items, and if you have any questions, please see our retail staff who will be happy to help. Why not upgrade your tickets to include our dino golf? Nine holes for prehistoric fun. As you exit the retail store, back to where you started your experience with us, please continue to follow the one-way system to exit the building. Once again, we hope you've enjoyed your time here at the Box and Tower Ride. Have a wonderful day. We've all seen these machines before, right guys? But have you ever seen them put a damn mask on one? My god. Well, that was actually quite interesting. It was actually quite cool. Um, pity it took us about two hours to get in. We spent about 45 minutes queuing outside and about another 45 minutes inside. But all in all, my legs are really, really aching. And I'm off downstairs to Harry Ramsden's to have my dinner. Tea, in fact. Has anyone ever seen these bangers? The same as Fun Snaps. Put the gangster at. Sophie will show you one on its own. On its own. Down here. Oof! But then, four. Ah, we use Riggy! Literally is. Check out this low flying plane. That is actually mad how low flying it is as well. Like, look if I zoom out, look how low it is. Mind you, it looks really high to you guys, but it's actually really, really low. Where's it going? From yours. Sometimes we forget why we're here. It's easy to fall off track. These help us remember. These battle scars don't look like the fate. Don't look like they're ever gone away. They ain't never gonna change. These battles. Growing up, I had a dream. Something no one else could see Tell me what it means when your faith is falling beneath your knees And you can't breathe Everything you see reminds you of what you're not Or something you won't be You gotta take what you're given, that's how we live it Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed I hear a lot of people talking like they politicians And choose to be an accountant because it's safe in a business Not because they wanna do it, just because they heard it pays And who the fuck wants to be poor, knowing that's how we've been raised Society is getting heavy, I can feel the weight, the pressure of success is like a hundred million pounds of shame And that's the reason I'm staying up late, trying to find a way to escape The stereotypes this day and age is making me feel like the only way I'll be happy Is getting signed to a label and making money through rapping I wanna share my emotion because this world is attacking The very principle of life that lets the people be happy If you don't have a reason to breathe, why even live? These battles cause our impressions of everything that it is There's a reason that we're all created equal Cause some decide to be great And some decide a sequel to an average person's life Is simply what they wanna be So you make your decision All I know is what I'm given Won't define the life I lead Or the way I dwell in existence I've seen a greater image on the walls of where I'm living And the words twisted and scripted Remind me of something written Faith is a gift that is given down to the people If one believes it, one receives it It's given if it is needed Don't ever think you're trapped in a life that you never wanted Your options are infinite That's some mathematics Logic. I'm not saying I'm a prophet, I'm speaking for what it's worth These lyrics define my prayers and these battles cause I'm a church I'm not saying I'm a prophet, I'm speaking for what it's worth These lyrics define my prayers, these battles cause I'm a church Peace and respect.